Belmont on Lake Macquarie told to take shelter with a blaze burning within 200 metres of homes. Reporter Serena Andaloro is tracking this story for us tonight. Serena, hello, what's your advice for those in the area tonight? Mm. Well, Michael, an emergency alert has been issued. Mm -hmm. Residents urged Ryan, to seek to shelter in a solid structure without delay as the fire front nears, burning out of control near homes. Strong southerly winds are pushing flames towards several streets. They are Goulding Avenue, Railway Crescent, Cullaroo Road, John Darling Avenue and John Fisher Road. A warning from the RFS, if you are caught in the fire's path, you may die. Any delay puts your life at risk. The blaze broke out in the wetlands at Belmont in Newcastle South. Over a dozen crews are currently protecting homes. Firefighters forming a line, fighting flames as they approach. There have been no homes lost so far, but crews are certainly in for a long night. Yeah, and so it's those strong winds that have the fire crews concerned, obviously. Yes, Michael, the winds have eased a little, thankfully, but the risk is embers, which could be blown up to four kilometres ahead of the fire, creating spot fires that have the potential to move quickly and in different directions. In the words of firefighters, a very unpredictable fire front. All right, Serena, thank you for that. And there's also a developing bushfire emergency just north of Brisbane, with residents told to be on high alert. Let's bring in Isabel Mullen, uh, who's there. Isabel, what's the latest? Well, Michael, six houses have been evacuated in Narangba after that large grass fire broke out at about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Firefighters have told us they've got nine crews on the scene tonight and they've just called in the Rural Fire Brigade. An emergency situation has been declared and a watch and act announced. Residents have been told that they need to be prepared to leave their homes earlier tonight. Some residents did leave. Two people were rushed to hospital after suffering smoke inhalation. There is a lot of smoke on the roads tonight, so police are warning motorists to not to avoid that area, rather, if they can. All right, and Isabel, a separate fire has been burning, we understand, on Bribey Island. The fire crew is getting any closer there to controlling that? They've had a huge task ahead of them, Michael. Those winds have been blowing at up to 50 kilometres an hour. Today they managed, through backburning, to push that fire from the pine forest out towards the ocean. This was vital to establish, to establish strong containment lines. There are all hands on deck tonight. T we're told that no houses or structures are under threat, but they'll be there till morning. All right, that's uh, the that's good thing if there's no threat there. But just very quickly, any idea, any idea how it started, that one? Well, Parks and Wildlife have been conducting control burns over the last 10 days on Bribey Island, but they did release a statement to us telling us that they weren't burning on the day that that fire started. So once this is all wrapped up, a full investigation will take place. Michael? OK, Isabel, thank you for that. Tonight's blockbuster...